Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at taking strings and splitting them into arrays. So the way we're going to use this, we're going to use the read command. So we've used the read command in the past, so we can do something like read and then we would put in the name of a variable, we'll just call this txt for text. And now it just waits for user input and I can write hello world and then when I hit enter Nothing seems to have happened, but what we actually did was recreate a variable called txt and put the words hello world into them. So if I type in echo and then inside parentheses I do dollar sign txt, dollar sign saying that txt is a variable, it will hit enter, you can see it outputs hello world. Well, if we take that same command, read dash dot t, I'm sorry, read and then the name of our variable, we can also add in the dash a, and that will change the variable into an array. So we can do the same thing, but I can type something like that. This is a bash tutorial, let's say. So we have you know five words there. So each word is a separate item within our array. So now I can do something like echo dollar sign, and inside squiggly brackets, we can say our um, array name, which is txt, and then the portion of the, of the array that we want to grab. Now remember, it starts at zero, so if we want to grab the word this from our array, it would be zero. If we want to grab the word is, we can change it to one. If we want to grab the word tutorial, we can say that would be four. And if we want to show everything in our array, we can put our end symbol in there. And if we want to, uh, and I've gone over arrays in the past, if you want to see how large uh, the array is, how many items are in it, we can add a pound symbol right there, and then we'll hit enter, and you can see that there are five items in this array. So that's getting the user input, but how do we take a string uh, and turn it into an array? Um, really, uh, in a lot of senses this uh, would be something that you wouldn't do this way because you would just create an array in your um, your script but in the next try I am going to show you a fun little thing you can do with this but just to uh, demonstrate even though I don't think this will be used too much we can say read a once again the variable or in this case array that we want to create and then we'll go less than less than less than and then we can give it a string like this is a string I am typing and we just took that string there and put it into the read command um, and as you'll see in our next tutorial you can uh, grab output from other commands and turn them into arrays this way. So once again, if we uh, do echo dollar sign and then inside squiggly brackets, we say pound, number symbol or whatever you call it in your country, the name of our array and then inside square brackets, the end symbol, you can see that there's seven items in this array. And if we do that same command without the pound symbol or number symbol, we can hit enter and it displays the whole array or we can grab sections of it like I can say four, which in this case would be the word I and five would be the word am. So that is taking strings uh, which can also be the output of commands, as you'll see in the next tutorial, and put them into arrays. So this was a nice, short, quick tutorial. I like to keep them short when I can, and uh, watch our next tutorial to see a fun little uh, use of this. And as always, I hope you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's links in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.